Hey yogis, welcome back to Hannah Adams Yoga. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna bring you through another brief flow that you can do at any point throughout the day to help kind of uplift your mood, shift your attitude, feel better in your body and your spirit. And it won't take long, it doesn't take long to make those shifts. So come join me on your mat and we'll get started. Join me kneeling, sitting in the middle of your mat, palms resting on your thighs, eyes closed, and take a big breath in and out. Do that one more time and open mouth exhale. For the next breath, close the lips. And take the inhale like you're smelling fresh laundry. And then wait for your next inhale, lift the hips up, reach the arms up. As you exhale, open your arms to the side and step your right foot out so the leg extends. Let yourself tilt over, reaching your left arm up and coming into a soft side bend. Let yourself pause and give it a couple breaths. I say fresh laundry because someone's definitely doing laundry in my building right now and it smells so good. So give it another inhale. Pretend your imagination is powerful. And then exhale, bring your arms back up to center and switch your legs out, extending your left leg to the other side. Reach your right arm up and come into a side bend. Don't pull, like you don't have to go super far. Just come enough that you feel a little something. And then pause in the midst of that feeling and give it a couple breaths. Another full breath in, and then exhale, arms come back up and step the knee in. We're just gonna flow through that, extend your right leg, reach the arm up and over. Big breath in. Exhale, come back to center, switch your legs, switch the arms, reach it up and over. Full breath in, and then exhale, come up to center. You're gonna reach both arms up to the sky, big breath in. As you exhale, downward facing dog, bring your hands down, step your feet back, and make your way along your mat. Adjust yourself so you feel a nice lift in your hips, nice and active in your fingertips. If the legs straighten comfortably, try to really reach the heels down, and maybe even lift your toes up a little bit. And then adjust your eyes so they really land between your calves or your ankles. And then keep your eyes still. Keep the pose still by relaxing into it, finding a breath movement. Have another full breath in and a full breath out. As you inhale, you're going to reach your left leg up to the sky. As you exhale, bring your left knee in towards your chest, shoulders over the hands, really pinching your fingertips. And now one more time, inhale, reach it back and up. And then exhale, bring the knee in and step the foot between your hands. And from there, you can scoot your right foot back, lower the right knee down and point the foot. You're gonna bring your hands to the tops of that front thigh. Gently tuck the tail so there's a little bit of cat there but cow the chest, open the chest, lift the eyes, and smell the laundry. Give it another soft breath in and out. As you start to anchor through your front heel a bit more, start to reach the arms up to the sky. Give it a full breath in, an emotional moment. Give it one more inhale to celebrate. And then exhale, you're gonna lower your hands down and bring your hips back so your front leg extends. And just give that a long, patient moment. Feeling into the bottom of your foot and not finding a bit more space. Feeling into your sit bones, reaching back a little so you're increasing the space between your heel and your hip. 
and then find a breath movement along the spine and the ribs. Can you find a bit more space there? And really, once the breath movement and the spine can start to open up a bit more, all the other things will have more space to disengage. So give yourself another long breath or two. Let the breath itself become a bit more open and spacious. We're going to start to flow between these shapes. So you're going to bend your front knee, reach your arms up, give it a big breath in. Exhale, lower your hands, the hips come back, the front leg extends. Two more breaths. Inhale, bend the knee, reach the arms. Exhale, lower the hands, hips back. One more time just to enjoy. Inhale. And exhale. From here, pause for an inhale. And then exhale, cat your spine, step the knee back so you're in tabletop. Give it an inhale to cow, curl the toes under. And then exhale, downward facing dog, we meet. Adjust the edges of the shape, fingertips pinching, hips lifting, eyes still. And then observe your breath movement. Allow the shape to be affected by the breath. And then wait for your inhale. Reach the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring the knee in towards your chest, pinching your fingertips, shoulders forward. One more time. Inhale, reach it back and up. And then exhale, bring the knee on in, shoulders forward, and then step the foot between your hands. You'll start to lower that left knee back and down, pointing the foot. And really make sure the front heel is driving down so you have that support to bring your hands to the top of that thigh. And there's a little bit of counterintuitively like a tuck in the tail, so like a catting of the pelvis, just a little bit so you get that anchor of support through the hips so that you can more confidently open through the chest, lift the eyes, give it a breath. And then use the anchor of your feet and your hips to reach the arms up to the sky. Give that a moment, a celebratory inhale. Give it one more full breath in. And then exhale, lower your hands down. You're going to drive your hips back so the front leg extends and you're in that half split. And although most of the sensation might be along the back of the leg, it's still a whole thing, and so the bottom of the foot has to open up, the pelvis has to open up, so you want to be able to kind of cow a bit through the sit bones. And if there's any one part that's maybe even more important, it's the spine. You want that to really be movable with the breath, so that kind of highway of information of the nervous system is free for other things to be signaled that they can open up. And so if you open up through the breath and the spine, the leg will open up, the body will open up as a whole. So give it another long breath. How spacious and open can the breath be? And then we'll start to flow through these shapes. Inhale, come into your lunge, reaching the arms. Exhale to your half split. No rushing, not allowed. A couple more breaths. Inhale to your lunge. Exhale to your half split. One more time. Inhale as you reach the arms, come into a smile. And then exhale to your half split. You'll pause in your half split just for a patient inhale. And then exhale, step the knee back so you're in tabletop. You're going to take two rounds of cow cat. Inhale. And exhale. Once again, inhale. And exhale. I don't know why I decided to wear my hair down. <laughs> One more time. Inhale, cow. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Give it a long breath in and out. One more full breath in. 
As you exhale, bend your knees, look towards your hands, and step or hop your feet to come into a standing forward fold. Give yourself a full breath out to hang. And then slowly enough that it requires a little bit of your patience, bend your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, and start to roll yourself up to standing. Again, slowly enough that you have to be a little patient, patient for things to happen. You don't have to do it. You can allow the spine to gradually articulate, including the neck, and all of that will lift the weight of your head up and you won't have to do that part. And you'll arrive in something like a standing Shavasana. If they aren't yet, bring your feet to about hip width apart. Allow your arms to settle into the support of gravity and your shoulder blades as they just slide down your back. And you arrive in the center of where you are, right where your inhale begins and where your exhale finishes. Give yourself a couple more breaths to be in that centered place with the breath movement itself. And add the slightest hint of a smile. Find a positive thought. Feel how you really want to feel. You're in control of that. You'll inhale, reach the arms to the ceiling, to the sky, grab a smile. And then exhale, palms to prayer in front of your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you come back for more with Hannah Adams Yoga. Be well. Mm -hmm.